check it out. So here's the deal on this house. We bought this house. We haven't seen this house yet. Got a busy road. We actually did the house two doors down about yeah, ten, two doors down. Yeah. 10 years ago, probably. One of our first houses. Yeah, one of our, one of our early houses we yeah. did down the road. That was uh, cool. So we the team bought the house here. They think it's got 15,000 worth of work. Um, our project manager came in and said, I don't think it's 15,000. So now we have an issue we got to work out because we think that the budget was 15 to 20,000 to do some cosmetic cleanup. But he thinks we had to come and look at it ourselves because he thinks it's more than that. It's really cute on the outside. It is. Needs some cleaning, but. Side is good, roof is good. <clears throat> now we gotta take a look and see what, now, now that they cleaned it out, now we gotta see what we're actually dealing with. I'm, you know what, Mark, there's gutters. There are gutters on the house, good. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's go inside and check it out. Oh, it's warmer in here. <laughs> yeah, a little chilly outside today. All right, so here we are. Well, interesting. Interesting floors. I've never seen the country. I mean, we can make these look good, right? Can, re can you refinish yeah. this floor? Yeah, we'll just have to do more of a country theme on this house, but totally. So let's look around because we've got, again, the team, now I know, so they were thinking floors and paint. That's what our team said. Although our project manager thinks it's more. So now we got to really dive in and look at some details and see what we're actually dealing with here. So. Ooh, look over there. Oh, that is super disappointing. Look, there used to be one of those really cool arch doors in here, oh, yeah. and they took it out. Well, the trim was arch. Yeah, the door was probably arch, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it probably was. Yeah. Oh, that's There's disappointing. Yeah. And, I mean, why is this here? We should just get rid of that. A little blue scanner for your pleasure. All right. All right. Okay, so here's a bedroom. There's a lot going on in here. <laughs> A lot of different uh, styles. There's here. like a fake pergo floor. There's brick. This is not even brick. That's like paneling brick or something, isn't it? Uh, I don't yeah, look at the theme. Yeah. There's a seam there. So window windows are new, but they, they need to get painted. Well, they're not newer. They're 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 double pane. I don't want to start replacing windows. Yeah, we we got to keep this budget. Huh. So this won't be a full renovation, right? This is going to be a we're going to make it look good. But we're not gonna gut everything down and surface. It's not that bad. The person that bought that we bought the house from, she was living here. Just we actually we bought the house and let her stay uh, six weeks rent free. That just made the deal go smoother. So that's what we did with the house. But we bought it at a good price. But now we've got to. Yeah. Well, if you you know. Just so, the fact that she lived here though doesn't mean anything. There's people that live yeah, in squalor but you, but and. You can't you can't go in here and say I'm gonna make this like a million dollar <laughs> house because we won't get any money. We still have to make money. I know I get it, but I also have to make it sell. Agreed. The, but I have got, to make got, it nice and I don't. I don't want it to look like a cheap flip. No, I know that's true. That's true. But yeah, that's hard. Our name is Oz. People know what we do. So yeah. It's but but we also are in the business of right now of making money. That's what we want to do. We want to make houses. And we have to make money too. So, all right. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So let me ask you. These door stairs. <clears throat> is it a bedroom? It, yeah, it's got a closet in it. Um, I think the door, door is right fine. Now. We'll just we'll just do we'll paint them white so okay. that it goes with the trim. But yeah, it's got like a little. So floor wood. underneath this floor, if you look in the closet, <laughs> it had regular hardwood. You can see here in the closet that that's got regular and flooring. That's usually a good place to look if you're wondering if a house has hardwood. Um, they don't always carpet or yeah. put covering so. in the closet. So I, I would rather get rid of this floor. And I can't leave this many textures in here. This is just it's too much. Maybe just lose the faux brick and then paint this like a semi-gloss white. Is that really a good floor? Well, something has to go. Either the wood has we're, to go or the, we're in the brick we're has we're to in go. We're in the first room, so tell you what. Let's let's do this. Let's go to the house. Let's go to the rooms that, that make the most money, right? Kitchens and baths. Right. Let's go to that first. Let's have, let's have that discussion because that's where our money is made or lost is in the kitchen. But we haven't gotten that there yet. Big so we're floor. Do we keep the pillow stove? Now we don't use it, but people people like pillow stoves. Um, yeah, it's not a deal killer for me. And if we get rid of it, we'll have flooring issues. Hole in the floor. Yeah. Because they obviously went around it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep that. So yeah, for money's sake, we'll keep that. Now this is not faux brick. This was real brick. Although it's two different textures. I don't know if look it's at, real brick or not. Is it? Well, look though, it's weird. This has a texture to it, it's and a, that's flat. I don't know if that's that's not real brick. I think it's still. 
I think it's still. But it's a, not the same as it's not paneling. It's like right, a veneer. It's, it's, yeah, it's a veneer brick. Yeah. It's a veneer, but this brick is different than this brick. Well, I gotta change that. Weird. So they like their texture in this house because and that wall has texture too. That wall has texture. This wall is paneling that's painted. Yeah, this has like a this has this has wallpaper underneath and a grit. So they they painted over wallpaper and put a grit on top of it, and then they painted paneling. All right. So they really like their texture in this house. We haven't gotten the kitchen yet. Galley kitchen, not my favorite. Why is there nice? And there's not really a way to open this up. There's nowhere to open it up to. The refrigerator. I don't know if my kids even know what this is. Did you ever see that video where they were like showing kids how to do the ones yeah. that went in a circle? I don't know if our kids could figure this part out with the <laughs> dialing. Know. It's very, well, they can figure that part out. Look at, yeah, <coughs> interesting. All right, a different kind of cabinet door on both sides, right? One's yep. got grooves on it, one doesn't have grooves on it. White kitchen counter, more brick for the backsplash. Mm -hmm. So, remember, we're trying to stick around 20,000. That's not gonna happen, is it? We bought the house for 85. I think that comps are looking in the ones, depending on what we do to it, 150 to 180 range, depends on what we do to it. You know, if we add more value, can we get more value? Now it'll be ready in the winter time. It's just some things to think about. I can use the appliances, um, possibly the refrigerator, possibly not. I think the refrigerator is really funky over there. I do not like the placement of it whatsoever. What would you do with that room? I would turn it into a pantry. You've got a really small kitchen. I would maybe get a counter depth refrigerator, which does cost a little bit more, but yeah, not dramatically no more. Space, you'd have this side, you'd have next to the refrigerator, and then you could bump the stove over just a little bit and have another cabinet over there. So the good news is it's a really small kitchen. So the cabinets aren't gonna cost a lot. And we don't have to buy new appliances except maybe the stove. I can, I can clean this up or have the guy clean it up. We can clean the stove. It's in good shape. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll so. clean up fine. That is like so funky. It's just, it's just not desirable. It just looks like it was stuck there. It was just stuck there. <laughs> if we don't do a pantry out of it, I could have the cabinets go all the way down that wall, put a lazy Susan in and just wrap around so that that's not closed in. That still isn't gonna look great because of this. Um, Go start taking walls out. No, I know. I mean, the, the only exception would be to take this up to the ceiling, Ugh. but then we have ceiling issues over there. Yeah. So, so we either need to make this a pantry, you know, put little doors here, make this pantry, or have the cabinets wrap around. But I think so, that would so still let look me funky. Ask you this house, as is, cleaned up. What's the ARV? I bet you. I bet you even like this. I think it goes for 150 all day long. We bought it for 85. We clean it up and sell it for 150. I'm just, you know. I'm okay with not doing work for it if, if the comp support selling yeah, it as it is. We have to paint it. We have to make it look good. You know, we can't, it's not going to be a full on, the problem is once you start, where do you stop? Yeah. Now you make the kitchen look good, all of a sudden that room doesn't look so good. And then, you know, all of a sudden everything doesn't look so good. Now you're spending money on appliances and I, uh, you know, I don't know. Is it, I, I agree it's not ideal, but if you spend 20, we got to get 40 out because every every investment is if I spend a dollar, if I get a dollar 50 back, we're investors, we're not. I, I, listen, I'm fine selling it and not doing a full design on it. The ARV just has to support it. The comps have to support it of, of not doing a full renovation. The designer in me, you know, always wants to make it look as spectacular as possible, but the business person in me wants to make the best business decision. So, all right, let's, let's, look, let's look at this two ways. So here, this is gonna be a challenging one. So there's two ways. One, we leave it as it, not as is, but we clean it up, leave the, leave the cabinets where they are, bathroom way it is, we just leave it, we just clean it up, paint it, and be done. Don't do anything to it. Um, if there's repairs, in the, we, we haven't seen the basement yet, but if there's, we gotta see what that looks like. That's option one, and sell it for a lower dollar figure. Not as a flip, but as a, as a house that if someone wants to do stuff, they can. That's option one. Option two is, your way. Spend lots of money. What's it gonna it's cost? It's only my way if it's the best business decision. I know that. I know that. I mean, yeah, there, there are so many textures. You've got texture I know, balls I here. Know. So we're past texture the textures. Feelings. I know, we're past the textures. There's lots of I, them. I just, it's just funny what people put together. I know, I know. Right. So, let's let's go look at the bathroom. That. So what's the, what's the cost of a new kitchen? A whole, a whole, well, no, because we don't have to do all new appliances. 
appliances are 2500 so if we just are buying the refrigerator you know that's probably a thousand bucks we could probably get away with this kitchen for seven mm -hmm. because it's a smaller kitchen so let's call it seven grand all right with seven grand for the kitchen drop ceiling stay go i think it has to stay oh so it's about six inches or so. We have different cash right there. But the problem is if we take this drop ceiling out, I know. then we have wall texture issues again. No. Because they didn't texture all the way up. I know. You can't really scrape that off. So if we're doing a full renovation, this has to go. If we're not doing a full renovation, this stays. Good. All right. Seven grand. Let's call it eight with the ceiling. Yep. Good. You know, we should do the, they match the, I don't know what you do with the texture. I don't know. Um, you know what? You could put a really thick piece of trim up there and do something decorative. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Yeah, good. we could do something creative like that. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, so that stays there. So floors are done. So what's the rest of the house look like? So oh. we got... The oh, bathroom wait, 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 has... Wait, we have three bedrooms? Yeah, One, wait. One, two, three. The bathroom has a different color hardwood fake floor. <laughs> so we've got the living room floor. The All bedroom right. pergo, yes, a different wood in the kitchen, and now another different wood in the bathroom. Yeah, I see that. And they made use of every nook and cranny. There's like a little linen closet next to the tub here. Good use of space. And the things we can do with the trim, we just make this caulk and... Yeah, that I can work with. Again, we have that same ceiling in here. You and then paint that white. Mm -hmm. Here's your archway. I know, I love the arches. So here's another floor. So we have a different color floor, two different colors. And color a different walls. color wood. And a different type of wood. Is this paneling or wood? Clearly taxes are pissing her off today. Just it's just off too that. many in one house. Okay. So not much in the not much in the bedroom. I mean, you know, clean it up, make it look good. They used a shelf as a table. Alright. Well, it was a bedroom. So this can't be a bedroom. No, because it opens up to the upstairs. Well, it could be a walkthrough bedroom, but it's not very functional right. that so, way. So, good office. <clears throat> you stage as an office. Yeah. It's so office, playroom. This is safe. Uh, yeah. Don't fall off the side of that sure. bad boy. And look, I wear a six and a half shoe, and my foot doesn't even fit oh, on there. giant feet. Look at that. <laughs> these, these nice. are narrow and thin. <laughs> I'm married to an elephant. So first of all, we have a bad sheetrock job. <laughs> Look how uneven this is. Hey, the one good news? Second of all. It's one texture. <laughs> makes you calm true, down a bit. True, <laughs> true. So, but short, short buyer. For nice. all intents and purposes, it wouldn't be a bad kid's room. Yeah. Or a playroom or something like that. It's got some cool angles. I wish the sheetrock job had been better. Their corners look awful. Wow. But, um, you know, you have to put a railing up here, so. This is dangerous. I it's very it's dangerous. dangerous. This just can't even. Oh. Huh? Very talented. See that? Ah! Okay. Watch me fall busting my <laughs> So a good storage area. So I see some stains up here. Water damage. Some mold. Yeah, a little bit of mold I have to deal with up there. Just make sure yeah. we get that cleaned up. Yeah. Mouse, lots of mouse traps. Okay. So just out of all of this up here, they put a nice, fancy, trimmed out newel post. So railing carpet. Yeah. All right, so maybe this is not getting as bad as we think it is. Let's go in the basement. I'm okay. not sure what else we got, so okay. let's go in there. All right, so majors down here, you know, the wall has got these little TLC on the basement wall. Yeah. Uh, you need to have a little, we, we may have to have a support put in here. We're, we are we are busting out here a little bit. Some of this is coming off. That that happens sometimes. So there's been some moisture. Um, I bet it was pre the gutters. Yeah. So they put gutters up, I better start doing this. So the wall does go out a little bit here. We may want to put supports here. Sometimes you can put supports in here and parge the middle, so you give the extra support to the house. So that may be a, we may have to do that. This this may take a few thousand bucks to, to correct. Mm -hmm. It's not crumbling or anything, but it just needs to you know. It needs a, to be supported. It's an older house. They've obviously had some repairs in the past. They've done over here. 
they've done some repairs, you can tell. I parged that out, which is fine. But the tail work comes out there. So it, it needs a little TLC. I'm gonna get Neil here to look at that, but I, I imagine we're a few thousand bucks for that. Yep. We have to add that to the kind of the, the bottom line. So the first, this is a pool. Is there a pool out back? I didn't see a pool. Of course, there's snow on the ground, so. Uh, um, this is a 100 amp service. Yeah, so this is small. We might be able to get away with it. It's not a very big house. It looks like a brand new furnace. Yeah, that looks nice. Which is good. That's a, that's a plus. A brand new furnace. Um, washer and dryer. Nice washer and dryer. Those will go in one of our Airbnbs. Yeah, so for sure. So definitely, you look at a house, you know, a washer and dryer won't make or break the sale of a house. No. Someone will walk in and say, oh, I'll buy it because of washer and dryer. So if you can use that, we'll put that in Airbnb. That'll be beautiful. Yeah, sometimes, you know, if we were doing a renovation and there was a nice one there, we might leave it in the house, but we don't ever supply a washer and dryer in yeah. our area. It's just not something that's required. I have to ask them, they did a septic inspection. This is clearly a septic. So when, a, when your drain pipe, this is your main drain pipe, when it goes out of, of the house, usually in the backyard, which is right there, and it goes out halfway up the wall, that's a septic system. If it goes out on the floor, then that's a sewer, usually, that's a sewer system. So there's always exceptions to the rule, but 95% of the time, if it goes this high, it's gonna be a septic. There's water trickling, if you can hear the water in here. So, so I see a major faux pas. So this, so obviously there is snow melting outside. Say this is a sub pump, active sub pump. Here's the problem. You can't put house water. These drains come from sinks. Hey babe, you see that? Yeah. These drains come from sinks. So these drains come over here. The kitchen sink and the bathroom sink. And they're draining into, you can't do that. Oh my gosh, are they seriously? Yeah, because they're pumping that water outside. So you can't do that. So, oh. so we'll have to do some plumbing. This is gonna have to get rerouted and fixed. You can't, oh, wow. can't leave that, that's not good. So that's gotta get fixed, we can't leave that. Clearly that's not good. Um, hey, there's more shelving units. Wanna use those in the Airbnbs? Yes, we can clean those up. Those can go right in the maid closets. Here's a couple of brand new, brand new windows, right? So we need a window there. Yeah. So we have one. And we need one there. Oh wait, what is this? Is that asbestos? That looks a little different than I'm used to that's seeing. That's asbestos, yeah. Yeah. So it's not on most of the pipes, but we do have a little bit. So we'll spray that with that black flex seal stuff and encapsulate it. All right, so the majors are down here. We know we have to do electrical panel. It's gonna be marginal. It's a 100 amp service. It's in good condition. It's got breakers, but it might not be enough. We're not adding anything on here though. No, we're not. And we only have one bathroom. Right. So I think we're probably okay probably leaving okay it at with that. So that. Did the outside good. exterior wire look okay or did you notice? It did. I noticed the way up, it looked pretty good, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's go back upstairs out of the basement here. Let's recap and make a decision what we're gonna do. Let's call Meg. And let's call our office and see what the comps are both ways. If you know what the comps are both ways, we can decide what we're going to do. Yep. But right now, it's so loud down here with the fan. I'm probably yelling. I don't mean to be yelling. It's just loud down here. Ah. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so the moment of truth. What are we going to do with this house? Clearly, you don't like the textures. You know, the thing about the textures is if you're going to live in a house, I think by all means you should do what floats your boat well, of course you know it's your home do what you like but when you're going to sell a house you have to make it appealing to the largest number of buyers yeah. you know even our house like i love color i mean my 14 year old daughter's room is a zebra print on two walls yeah, <laughs> and yeah. and blue on another wall <laughs> and then you know our six-year-old daughter's ceiling is painted like the sky with sun rainbow and turquoise walls so right. you know even if we sold our house we'd have to make it appeal to the largest number of so buyers. That's why, so. got, that's why we got a, a good deal in this house though, because it does have a lot of pieces that are not lined up together and things aren't finished and there's some problems. So that's why we got a good deal. And th plus this, this is a great, this is a great family that sold this house to us. She's actually on our TV commercials, which is great. Yeah. Um, but they actually uh, moved to Florida, which all the I don't blame her. today, I don't blame her one bit. <laughs> so what I want to do, so let's, let's do this. Let's call Meg. Let's just know what the comps are in both Scenarios. scenarios. Yeah. Right, we'll go from there. So and then we'll make a business decision. Right. Based on facts. Board. Yep. We'll go from there. All right. Here we go. Hi, this is Megan. Hey, it's us. 
Hey, we got a question for you. So we're over at yeah. um, the house over here on Giffords, and we're trying to figure out what to do with it. So I know okay. when we bought it, the the consensus in the office, I think, was to just clean it up and sell it kind of, not as is, but just sort of clean it up. Or Amber's discussing putting a new kitchen in and kind of moving things around and spending some money. So I'm trying to see what's the best bang for our buck that we do with this house. So wh what do you think we do with it when it comes to... What do you think it sells for? It's a 3-1, I don't know, what's the square footage here? Do you have the square footage in front of you, Meg, for this one by, by chance? Uh, 1,300, I'm showing. I, that's, I was gonna say 12. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd say 1,300, that's probably about right. So 1,300 square foot, it's a three bedroom, one bath. Could you squeeze a half bath anywhere? You know, there's the there's the room upstairs, but it's only got like six foot ceiling, so I'd rather not do anything up there, I don't think. I, I think we keep it a one. Why, what are you showing for comps? Um, I'd say a 3-1, you'd be around, I mean, with all of Amber's touches, probably 170. Uh, definitely high 160s, for sure. That's okay. if we did a full There's renovation? There's a couple other projects done in that area, too, I was looking at. So ironically, 10 years ago, we did the house two doors down. I'd love to look up the address. I don't know what that is. I'm, I think we sold that for around oh, 160 about 10 years ago, yeah. yeah. So, so, Meg, that's if we do a full reno? I think, I think 170 if there was a, a full reno, because a lot of people have been doing some in that area. Okay. So what do we do What do we do we if it's a, if we kind of just clean it up kind of as is? Now, I, I'm not sure if you've seen this house yet or not. I know the buying team has seen it. But yeah, it's, it's, I haven't personally seen it. How bad is it? It's not bad. It's cute. It, it, it has a lot of character. It's just got a lot going on. Okay. Yeah, a lot of different think, walls. Like and, if we just painted it? Do, does it need we, we need to refinish the hardwood floors. We need okay. to do, you know, some touch-up painting, put new light fixtures in. They're wide plank floors, so it's a, it's a country. It's The, the challenge is <clears throat> every floor is different. So the, the main floor has, <laughs> it is, like the main floor is going to be the wide country plank. And then one of the bedrooms has a darker laminate. Then one it's, of them has a lighter laminate. The kitchen has a different laminate. You and won't then, have a clue what this means, but she'll know. So it's kind of like country meets shabby chic. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I was just dissed on and called a moron and didn't even know it. Right, but my the wife, yeah. I'm glad the two women are just ganging up on me, yeah. Apparently, it, I don't know what shabby uh, chic is. Because I do have no idea what shabby chic is. Whatever. I don't know. So anyway, so what do you think it sells for as is uh, shabby chic? If we chic painted it, cleaned it up, did the floors, all of that, I mean, we could probably, I'd say probably... 130s to 140s, maybe? Also, I have in my head, too, 130s yeah. to 140s. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Well, let, we're going to grind some numbers out here and see what we're going to do, and we'll let you guys know what our decision is. So, Sounds all right. good. Thanks, Thanks Meg. All right. See you. Bye. Right, bye. Shabby chic. <laughs> Sound like chow. Whatever that is. All right. So, <clears throat> so if we if we just do the easy option and not do a full reno, we still have to deal with the basement. We do. And we're because be that would scare a buyer off. Three to five grand to fix that base, and we have some so plumbing let's say to fix five. down there. Yeah, let's call it. Let's five. say on the high side. Then of we got to fix. Then we got to fix all of this up here, which you know we, we still have to paint the floors. We still have to do all that. So now we're, we're gonna, talking about we're gonna paint the floors. <clears throat> What's the so math? So five. On it? So sixty-five with the basement and the floors. Yep. If we don't really do much to the kitchen, we got to paint though. We have to so, clean and paint. So so painting's gonna be two grand in this house. So we're ten grand. I mean, all day long, we're, we're, we're ten grand. We gotta fix some things. We gotta we gotta do plumbing work. <laughs> yep. Plumbing downstairs. We gotta do the walls. There's um, some patching in there by that little there is, foyer. There is. There um, is. And we leave it alone. So let's say that we're we're we minimum fifteen grand to clean this place up. By the yep. time we're out, we gotta paint the front porch. Yep. There's just stuff to do. It'll be fifteen grand all day long by that. So fifteen grand, pay eighty five. You got five grand for buying and selling costs. So we're ninety grand into it. So fifteen grand. So we're one hundred and fifteen. We still have for one. Yeah. Some numbers are small. Those numbers are small. For a quick turnaround, we sold it for 140. We're into it for 115. It's 25,000. I don't know. Or if we wait, it, wait. How, how much more? What? I know I, that was fast. Yeah, now. we Go bought ahead. it for 85, and yeah. then you're saying we have 15 into it. That's 100. Plus another. Oh, another right, five for buying. Five. Yeah, another five for buying and selling costs. That's 105,000. Yeah. What did I say? You said 115. I was testing you. You passed. Thank Good you. Job. Good job. So, so, so no, that's still a thirty. If we sell it for one forty, that's a thirty-five thousand dollars profit. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad for not doing much work to it. No. So then, if we fix it up, what do we get? What do we do then? So if we fix it up, we're into it for probably forty. 
Yeah, I think we're and renovation costs. So, and then we got five grand for holding costs, buy and sell costs, all that kind of stuff. So we're looking at uh, what? 125. Let's call it 130. Went to it. We sell it for 170. And then 170, we sell it for 170. Oh, 40. So, yeah. So we have to just put right. lipstick on this and. Well, I like call saying put lipstick on it. No. We got we got we got to clean it up, and make it look. We good. have to do. We're it. not hiding anything. We got to make no. it look good. Yes. But we got to make it look good. We got to do our thing. So let's make it look pretty and let's. Uh, yeah, that's our decision. Right? Yeah. Yep. Move on from there. We'll yep. tell the team. All yep. right. On the next one.